Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mod Boy 16. Today we are flying. Today's flight report is on American Airlines from Minneapolis from here to Los Angeles on an Airbus A319 with those IAE engines. So I hope you all enjoyed the London to Frankfurt and Frankfurt to Minneapolis flights. They were both really good. And as you can see, this is in the new livery of American Airlines. This aircraft just been like, it's a few years, it's just coming from US Airways. It's now on American Airlines. So, our flight time, our seats are 20, my seat's 27 and a half, so I'm right at the back. So my plane's like, I believe it to be four hours of, it's a four hour flight to LA, by the way. And this is my flight report for, the for today, the 7th of July. And my next flight report after this will be on 15th of July on Norwegian from LA straight back to Gatwick on the 787 Dreamliner, of course. Minneapolis yeah, is such a big airport, you know. I think the registration is N836AW. Over there is like American 737, I can't see that. The aircraft actually looks quite new on the outside. So I'll see you later, guys. At Rebels, and good afternoon, folks. We'd like to uh, welcome you aboard. This is American Airlines Flight 604, service to Los Angeles. Folks, place your current items in the uh, overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you. Your small lightweight items can be placed in the seat pocket. If you need any assistance, just let us know. If you're sitting in the exit row, well, please review the safety card. You may need to uh, open the exit in the event of an emergency. Notify a crew member if you're willing to operate the exit. So or do not meet the exit seat so requirements. What's the folks? So guys, no boys. And we're just completing the boarding process. And we're going to be waiting for any reason. This is your final opportunity. Oh, there's a plane's condor over there. It's just coming from Frankfurt. It's Delta 320 with lots of other planes. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon from the flight deck. Welcome aboard flight 604 with service to Los Angeles. Flight time today is going to be about uh, 3 hours 40 minutes once we're airborne. Last part of weather there, they had clear skies, temperature 70 degrees. Welcome aboard the other flight.
and gentlemen, I realize this page and passenger Pagel, Layla Pagel, before the aircraft. Please bring your call now. Whatever you're in your seat. You will smell the corners compliance with lighter than posted signs and food instructions. All flights are not smoked. This includes e cigarettes. It's against the law to tamper with disable or destroy the laboratory smoke detectors. And the safety card in your seat pocket explains the safety features of this airplane, including the location and operation of exits and flotation devices. This airplane has two exit doors in the front, four window two excuse me, two exit doors, two exit windows over the wings and two exit doors in the back. All exits have slides to use in an emergency. When directly to exit, jump onto the slide, move away from the airplane. In a water evacuation, the exit door slides in the front of the back of the aircraft can be detached and used for flotation. All exits are marked with signs and opening instructions. If needed, exit path lighting in the aisles will open near the floor to guide you to an exit. Indicated by signs and lights, keep in mind the closest exit may be behind you. In an emergency, leave off lines and proceed to the closest usable exit. If needed oxygen mask, will drop from the overhead compartment. Remain seated with your seatbelts fastened. Pull the mask down to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Put the elastic band over your head. Pull the straps in tight and breathe normally. Put on your mask before helping others. Oxygen is flowing even if the bag does not inflate. Your life vest is in a compartment under or next to your seat. Pull the strap to remove the life vest pouch. If equipped with an elastic harness, remove the harness before opening. Take your vest out as shown on the safety card and put it over your head. Wrap the straps around your waist to attach the buckle and tighten. Inflate your vest as you leave the airplane by pulling down on the red tab or by blowing into the red tube. Never inflate your life vest inside the aircraft. All vests have lights that turn on automatically when in the water. If necessary, an infant life vest will be distributed by a crew member, and the safety card will show you how to use it. We'll get the camera lights for takeoff. You'll find individual reading lights just overhead. Let's go that flight time on over to Los Angeles, three hours and uh, 40 minutes. And we certainly hope you enjoy your flight.
Save the flight tomorrow. Okay. Well, you should know that.
Yeah, you have some crisps. So I'm going to have a nice snack with great views over somewhere, some state in the US. I don't know where we are. Well, I don't think it is because Las Vegas is There aren't enough planes in Las Vegas is over like 100 planes. I don't think that is. I think it's just some random domestic airport. I really don't know what airport it could be. I'm proud of American Airlines, I'm actually quite proud of American Airlines. There hasn't been any bad service or, um, at all, so it's just like... What I'm concerned about is why they... All I'm concerned is about why they have... Why they use A319 on this route from Minneapolis to LA. I think it would be better if they used like Boeing 737-800. They're like really more fun and exciting to travel on. The landings are really exciting. This like small kind of plane is. The one thing is that the quality is a bit better on this plane. One thing is that I'm concerned why they don't use 737s on this route. Well, actually, they might do one. I'm not sure. No, they do use 737s, but not on American land. They possibly use it on Delta, United, or some country. I think I'm so far proud of American Airlines. I'm proud of the snack service. I'm proud of everything. I'm proud of the seats. I'm proud of the plane itself and the seat I got to see sit in. And Megrum has to check the Megrum. Um, leg room is actually okay. Leg room's just fine, no problems with that. All suitable. I think that the magazines were okay, but not as good as Norwegian. They are kind of boring. And the seats are also kind of brand new. Even if the aircraft isn't new. 
the aircraft should be about 11 years old now. behind Minneapolis, the time zone where Minneapolis is in. So that means that, in, so we from Minneapolis is six hours behind the UK, and we are now eight hours behind the UK. So it was eight hours behind the UK. So it should be approaching about seven o'clock now, and what time is in the UK it should be about, three, nine, ten. In the UK it should be about three o'clock in the morning. Maybe about three in the morning, almost in the United Kingdom. And here we're, and here is almost seven p.m. There is three a.m. in the UK. And in Minneapolis is nine. So it's dark there. It's almost getting dark there. This is a moment where I thought I did not this is the moment where I think I'm not going to survive. There are just so many planes landing in LA, I believe. 
just like Istanbul Airport, where the where where has where it's unfortunately has been attacked. Oh, what the f flipping hell! That plane over there. I don't know what it is. I, I think at LA, I think there might be at least three run four runaways at the airport. I don't think there's any less than four. But I don't think there will be five because that's really too much. So you can see over there, I'm not sure what plane. From far, it looks like a Dreamliner or a 767 to me. Looks like a 787. Oh, I'm not sure where it is. Probably an Airbus 320, 737, whatever. We are actually in California right now. We are. It's been a good four hour flight. I'm happy to say that I am proud of American Airlines service. It's just as good as British Airways. Well, not as good as British Airways because British Airways gives you sandwiches on short haul flights on these, on these type of aircraft. I think the wheels have opened. Now this is going to be the exciting bit. We will be on the ground in less than one and a half minute. Oh God, over there, now I can see it's open its wheels. American Airlines 787 Dreamliner. I've never seen this in my life before, but I know I've seen pictures of it. It's fun to see something like this, you know. We're having a race with that 787 on the same airline. It's making our final descent. It's making our final descent into the airport. start to see people <clears throat> now we are Los Angeles Oh, we're racing with a 787 up there. Ah, American A321 and Delta 767. China Cargo, American Eagle, Turkish Airlines. But we're gonna touch around. Still the old livery, shouldn't be. Ah, uh, Delta Triple Seven Two Hundred LR. Delta Seven Six Seven. Ah, oh, that A three time just took off. Yeah. Right. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Los Angeles. We are a few minutes early, and the time here approximately six twenty nine. Yeah, we landed finally. Take a look at the checker sheet back pocket for any personal items like tablets and cell phones. 
When you open your bag compartment, be careful as items may have moved during our flight. And you may now use your cell phone. <clears throat> Well, it's the final support of flight this uh, evening on behalf of the entire flight crew. All of us here at American Airlines would like to thank you for flying with us. We appreciate your business. We we'll look forward to serving you again on our future flight. Let's see what it's now for a moment softer. I know that American Airlines 737 in the old livery it shouldn't be in the old livery because all planes are now in the new livery and it's got to be in a Scott Ass uh, United 737 with American Airlines 321. No. Kind of A340 is over there doing nothing. I didn't see any A380s, but I saw a Turkish Airlines. And a big one. Another AA Airbus 321. I've seen so many of these here. Oh my god! Oh, wow, so dead close, bro. Yeah. American Airlines 737. That's better. That's the real. That's the proper 737 for American Airlines. Oh, bless him. I think this is the United part. The United 787 Dreamliner next to him. We're next to him right now. We will be flying on one of these on Norwegian with the Rolls Royce engines when we fly back to London. With well, this one's with General Electric, kind of. I actually love the Dreamliner, even if I've never been on it. Ah, United 900 ER. Ah, it's 900 ER. There he is. Don't know what he's doing here. I think he's like lost somewhere here. JK. Ah, there he is. The livery's really old, but it's still in the livery it's meant to be. They've got to change the livery on United. They've got to change the United livery. Ah, uh, there's a uh, 800 there. There's United 800. There he is. It's N37252.
so we're now in California. Thank God we arrived finally. The flat wasn't that long. It wasn't that short. It was just um, a mid haul flight, kind of a four hour flight. I wouldn't call it short haul because I'll call the plane a short haul, but the flight is mid haul because it's four hours. You know? It's been a nice flight on this one, so have a good one. Thank you. Okay, so welcome to Los Angeles, everyone. So, uh, we're now finally here in Los Angeles and it's been a really good flight from Minneapolis, so everyone, thank you for taking this trip with me, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And American Airlines was a really good service, and I really, I hope you, I really hope you all enjoyed this video, and I am really, really looking forward to see you on the flight from Los Angeles from here to London Gatwick on Norwegian Boeing 787 Dreamliner, and I, and I hope you will enjoy that even more than this. So thank you for taking the trip with me and we will see you on the Dreamliner. Thank you very much and bye.